What's up, fam? It's your boy B. High back on the check in. And uh, hey, man, I got some news that might just make it all make sense. One more again in this thing. I was uh, scrolling through Hip Hop DX when I came across my girl Kylie Eustace post about Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. She said that they're reportedly on Donald Trump's list of potential partners. Yeah, now here's what's going on. You know, uh, Lil Wayne and Kodak Black could possibly receive a pardon from Donald Trump before he's either removed from office, impeached for a second time, or simply runs out of time. Now, this is according to Bloomberg. Uh, Trump is preparing an extensive list of potential pardons that includes Wayne, Kodak, some of his family members, and several senior White House officials. Uh, Trump is reportedly anticipating a January 19th announcement regarding the pardons, but with the deadly events that took place at the U.S. Capitol going crazy the other day, you know, it's possible he might not even make it to the last day in office to even get a chance to pardon everybody because all hell's breaking loose in uh, Washington. Now, you know, uh, Wayne, he pissed off a lot of people when he publicly endorsed Trump, posing for a photo with him at the White House. But as it turns out, it could have been a smart move on Weezy's part, considering he's facing a federal weapons charge stemming from a December 2019th incident in Miami. And uh, last month, he struck a plea deal with the federal government and pleaded guilty to illegally possessing a loaded weapon, but currently faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted. My God. And, uh, you know, as for Kodak Black, he's in the middle of a 46-month sentence for falsifying paperwork to obtain a firearm. And uh, Lil Yachty and Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson have publicly asked Trump to pardon Kodak Black, who promised in a since-deleted tweet he would donate $1 million to charity if he was freed. His current release date is November 2022. And, uh, you know, they're also saying that Trump's list of potential pardons is currently being vetted by attorneys who are concerned that the pardons could create new allegations of obstruction of justice for members of the administration. Well, there you have it. You know, I mean, it. Now, does it not all make sense now? You know, Lil Wayne supporting Trump. Kodak Black said vote for Trump. It makes all the sense in the world now if you're facing time in jail. So now for all of my gangsters out here and all of my political gangsters out here, which one is worse? If you're facing time in jail, is snitching worse or is endorsing Trump worse? to try to get out of jail. Which one is the worst of the two evils, I would say? <laughs> Let me know how you feel in the comments. And I'm going to sit there right there, man. Uh, more content on the way. More interviews on the way. Be high, ready, yo, shout it. I'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. I'm gone. <laughs>